Check this out. This is my old Android phone, still stuck on Android 15. But watch what happens. And boom, we're now running Android 16. No root, no custom recovery, and honestly, the best part, zero data loss. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to get Android 16 on almost any older device without even touching a PC. We'll be using Google's official DSU method, Dynamic System Update, is an official Android feature that lets you boot into a new system image without overwriting your current OS. It creates a temporary guest partition for the new update, meaning your original data remains completely untouched. Once you're done testing, a simple restart takes you right back to your original Android version. It's 100% safe, official, and honestly, a total game changer for testing new software. Let's jump into the video. For this video, I'm using my Moto 40 launched back in 2023 and currently running on Android 15. And we are going to install Android 16 on this phone. And yes, this same method will work even if you're on Android 11, Android 13, or Android 14. Now it's time to download the Android 16 ROM file. First, install the Treble Info app from the description link and open it. Inside the app, tap on Browse Images. This will show you a list of custom ROMs that are compatible with your device. Here, the Android 16 ROM file will appear. Just tap on it and download the Android 16 custom ROM on your phone. I've already downloaded this file earlier, so I'll skip the download part. Now, the step in installing Android 16 is to enable developer options. To do that, open your settings app, scroll down, and tap on about phone. Now, find build number and tap on it seven times until you see a message. You are now a developer. Once that's done, go back to the settings menu. Now, go to system, then tap on developer options. Here, as you can see, my bootloader is already unlocked. So make sure yours is unlocked too before continuing. Next, scroll down a bit and look for USB debugging. Turn this on as well. So here it is, the Android 16 ROM file. Along with that, make sure you also download and install these two apps, DSU Sideloader and Shizuku app. Install them one by one before moving to the next step. Once both app installed, let's open the Shizuku app you installed. When you open the app for the first time, you'll see a quick setup screen. Here, tap pairing and then select developer options. It will take you straight to the developer options menu. In developer options, scroll down to wireless debugging and tap on it. Make sure your phone is connected to any Wi-Fi network. Here, select pair device with pairing code. You'll see a small window pop-up displaying a six digit code. Now, enter that six digit code into the Shizuku notification that appears and then tap send. Once you see pairing successful, go back to the main Shizuku screen and tap start. In just a few seconds, you should see the status change to Shizuku is running. Now, tap on Authorize Application and select the DSU Sideloader app from the list. And that's it. Shizuku setup is complete. Now go back to the DSU Sideloader app and try installing the Android 16 ROM again. Let me select the Android 16 file and install it. And yes, this time there's no error. And as you can see, Android 16 is installing successfully. This process may take a few minutes, so just wait and let it complete. And yes, we got the installation successful message. This means Android 16 has been installed correctly through DSU. Now it's time to boot into Android 16 ROM. In the notification panel, just tap on the restart button. Your phone will restart and boot into the new system. Let's wait for it. And there we go. We are now successfully booted into Android 16. All the basic Google apps are already pre-installed. Let's also confirm it in the settings. Here you can see the Android version is Baklava, which is Android 16. So that's how you can try and install Android 16 on your device. Everything works normally here. You can use apps, check the UI, explore features, just like your regular Android phone. Yes, we basically dual booted Android 15 and Android 16 on the same device. Your original system is still completely intact. 
All your photos, apps, and messages are safe on Android 15. Android 16 is running from a separate space in your phone's memory. Now, let me show you how to switch back to Android 15. In the notification panel, just tap the restart button. Your device will reboot and load your stock Android 15 again. Let's wait for it. And there we go. The phone has rebooted and I'm back on Android 15. Everything is exactly the same as before. All my apps, data, and files. Nothing has changed. Now, if you want to remove Android 16 completely, just tap the discard button in the DSU notification and that's it. Android 16 is gone and the space it used is instantly freed from your storage. So that's how you can install and test Android 16 on almost any old Android phone using the DSU method. No root, no computer, and no data loss. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to smash that like button and please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.